My name is Mr. Craig. Uh, we're in Astromaps here, and we're going to be filming our full-length album, Farther Into the Future. The name of the band is Astromaps. Uh, my name is Christian. They call me Yoda. Andres, I play guitar, I play some bass and some synthesizers. And this album is called Farther Into the Future. Maps. I'm a singer, I play the keyboard and a bassist, and uh, you know, our project is called Farther Into the Future. That's the name, we're gonna stick to it. You'll see what it means. You'll see, you'll see, uh, you'll see what's gonna happen. It starts with like the whole set list theme of the album. You know, as in, in the beginning, it, it starts out like what may seem like like a very positive idea or something of that sense, or just like an idea of a very like round idea, and then like it sort of develops, and you see it sort of like become like a cell, I would say, and it would it just grows into like something that's like that evolves, and I would say that. In our music, in those songs of that specific album, each specific song sort of like takes the next step. And throughout the whole set list until the end, it just becomes like one whole, you know, being. We always knew we were going to do an album since day one. The thing is, finding the right songs that we would feel would make a story in an album. We've been a band together for really, really long. Uh, so this would be a culmination of some songs from the beginning of our musical career, and some of the songs are very fresh and written in the past few months. So we think it's going to be a good mix of all the sounds we've explored. Farther into the future kind of is a double entendre. Uh, musically, we you see the progression where we started and where we kind of want to go as the album develops. At the same time, a lot of the storytelling in the song kind of reflects us as a band going through things, all the things in our lives that happen that go into the songwriting process. And farther into the future, kind of pays tribute to everything that has happened and everything that will. hard at creating and, and uh, curating the proper songs that are going to be in here because we have this is like a selection of what we've written it's, it's we wanted to put like our best foot forward with our first album really make it like what we could be the most proud of so it, it's taken a very long time but we've been in the talks of writing an album for so long and it feels like now that we're finally here like it's I'm gonna be so satisfied when it's out.
throughout the whole thing, you know, when we first got together, I, I thought that like maybe, you know, as a keyboard player, I could really look into getting a synthesizer and, you know, try, try out different sounds, try out different leads, try out different signs. And then like, I mean, by myself, I just, I just wasn't so well versed in synthesizers and, you know, I, but I, you know, I gave it a shot and I bought my first synthesizer and then from there, you know, it's been more of like a keyboard style playing and not, not so much classical style playing. Deciding who plays what really is something we have to think about when we play, when we write songs together. For example, we can all play bass in the band, all of us can pick up a bass and play it, but deciding who plays something is more about who's more inspired to play the specific instrument. I, I play bass sometimes, but sometimes we're playing, we're jamming to a song we're writing, and Diego's really feeling a bass line, so go for it. He goes for it, and then that means that clears me up. I can play guitar now, I can play synthesizers. So the decision is more on who's more inspired to play what instrument. I've always been a huge fan of technology, and clearly I'm a fan of music. So I believe that synthesizers are just where they all meet. It's like the perfect middle ground where like science and sound come together. And just the way these circuits interact with each other, like just voltages going through this machine, and it comes out as audio that can blend so nicely with a band. With the, rock and roll sounds. Being on stage and playing, that's, that's kind of it. That's like the culmination of your work. You're, it's like everything that you have pent up that you wrote in the songs like you're putting it basically like like if an artist had a canvas that's like you like painting emotion onto the crowd and especially your energy is that much more amplified when the crowd's feeling it so it becomes like a kind of like the most beautiful vicious circle where like you're feeding off of them and then you get more excited and it, it's back and forth and it just becomes this like whole like dance craze that like you just can't really put into words but you feel like that's, this is where I'm supposed to be, like, it's just, it's awesome. I think any musician who really is passionate understands the, this sort of discomfort inside, this fire that you can't really get out. And you know, we set up a show finally, we play this show, and sometimes the people are really fired up also. And that's when we can really calm, just like tame your demons. And you, can, you can just let go of everything, and that's when, you, that's when I feel complete. Album to feel something, to take away anything from it, whether it's cool and they show their friends in their car, um, where they just listen to it and add it to their collection, um, and hopefully maybe it inspires someone to start something. And it would be great to know that this album helped anybody, an artist, a musician who's trying to find themselves, start. For everyone who's been following us these, all these years, this is to you. I know you've seen a lot, and I hope the few songs in here that you've never heard before really make it for you. Next time. It's not just but you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs>
Okay. Robot duck. Right, but you ain't seen nothing yet. Here you go.